Hey YouTube, it's Friday and we have an awesome vlog for you. We're actually gonna follow the story of the highway project and the pied and clown and then show you a brand new combo that we've been so excited about. So it was 2016 when we started this project, actually it was before that, but we made our first milestone animal from this project in 2016 and it was the pastel highway pied. It was a dream of mine to put the highway into the pied and it turned out absolutely phenomenal. Definitely a groundbreaking animal. The very next year we were able to make it in 2017 to the highway pipe without the pastel. It had awesome, awesome colors. And again, it's just really a product of being in these projects early. I got a highway really early. I was the very first to make the yellow belly pied way back. I don't even know the year what that is, but it was an awesome, awesome project. And so I started dreaming about, well, we can see this in a clown. It was actually 2017 when we made the very first highway clown and looking back it was a pastel or super pastel highway clown i think it was super pastel we ended up selling that animal to a gentleman in china and so i never got to personally prove out that animal but it was absolutely beautiful from that time i thought wow how cool would it be to make more of these highway clowns highway pies and see where that goes but really in my mind the mashup would be to make the highway clown pied it was around that same time that the industry proved that the highway and the freeway were slightly different. They certainly had different expressions. And I actually fell in love with the freeway more than the highway. And I know that's kind of a little controversial. Everybody has their projects that they love or dislike more. But in my mind, the freeway was just a little bit more contrasting, a little bit more dark. And in my mind, whenever you see mutations that have more darkness, more contrast that eventually will lead to better combos it gives you more room to work with them and add other things and still keep lots of color in the animal so i made a big pivot to the freeway project and i threw myself into making freeway pides and we've not yet made a freeway clown but the, really in my mind is I wanted to make that freeway clown pie to make that animal that i'd always dreamed of in the freeway version and I'm super excited. We get to show you that animal today. Let's check him out. All right, we're gonna start with a little bit about how to tell an asphalt from a yellow belly. So the main rule of thumb is you can't tell. There's actually no way to really know reliably an asphalt from a yellow belly. Gravel and asphalt are different than yellow belly. Typically, they're actually less pretty. They're actually less impressive. They typically have less checkering on the sides, less flames. So this one is a asphalt or yellow belly and it's 100% um, double head clown pied. So really, really exciting. This is from an asphalt double head to a yellow belly clown pied. And based on this one, I kind of think asphalt. I'll say that because it has um, not a lot of checkering. It has almost more lines, more just heavy lines, but of course that's the head pied influence too. There's a lot of other factors going on here. You have potentially a head clown influence, just a little bit of color. But one thing I'm seeing here, it has very little flames. You have actual whole bands here with no flaming in it which to me tells me it's more likely to be asphalt than yellow belly. This one has some more flames, but they're very reduced compared to a lot of yellow bellies. But in the end, would I guarantee this animal is asphalt or would I really even say you have a really, really, really way better than 50-50 chance? Not really, I, I just don't know. But that's just my little rule of thumb on that. Let's look at the rest of the babies from the clutch. So the next two in the clutch we'll show you is a asphalt or yellow belly clown het pied and this is very very impressive has great red flames awesome checkering just just the yellow belly or asphalt in clown just really adds a lot of like really rich reds and colors you know and it has just an amazing amazing look it's very very impressive now is this one asphalt or yellow belly i have no idea and i have no idea if the rule of thumb i was just telling you about even applies once you put on a heavy pattern coat like this, like we're putting clown on there, which is obviously a complete pattern change. And whether or not those rules would even slightly apply at this point, I have no idea. But beautiful, beautiful animal, really nice clown head pied boy. And of course it's asphalt or yellow belly. And then we have our first clown pied. So this is a asphalt or yellow belly clown pied. It is just wild. We showed this one on Instagram and people had some wild guesses about what it is. In the end, it's just an asphalt or yellow belly clown pie. We don't know which it is. Definitely has an amazing, amazing look and just, just such a wicked, crazy pattern. Now this is really more wild than any yellow belly clown pie I've ever made. Does that mean it's asphalt? Not, not really, but um, it'd be really cool to see if it ends up being asphalt or yellow belly. 
All right guys, so this is it. It's the one we've been looking for for almost eight years since we started this project. This is the Freeway Clown Pipe. All right guys, here is my lucky charm. This is the one we have been looking forward to now for so long. We even missed it on three clutches so far this year, but in this small clutch, only five eggs, we managed to get the very first Freeway Clown Pied. It's absolutely everything we hoped it'd be. It really, really has that exact same pattern layer as your, basically your Freeway Pied, essentially right off, right off the bat. Thankfully it has tons and tons of pattern, but then we're adding the clown head, the bright, awesome clown head on there. Just gives it a, a whole different look, a whole different vibe because you know this is a double recessive with two incomplete dominants that are allylic. So the yellow belly and the asphalt. And so when we breed him, he can throw asphalt or yellow belly, but never both. So we'll need to put him to some of the asphalt double heads we have growing up to make some super asphalt clown pies. Guys, that's it. Thanks for letting me share that with you. It's been a long, long journey, and I'm so excited to be able to hit these animals and just start dreaming about that next step. And I have so many ideas of how to take this project. In fact, right now we're incubating a clutch for a super asphalt clown pied. Fingers crossed, it'll be some long odds. But before I go, I wanna make a huge shout out to our channel sponsor, and that's ShipYourReptiles.com. Be sure to check them out. They are absolutely awesome, and everything you need for your reptile shipping needs. I also wanna do a big plug to our Patreon. We have a bunch of amazing, amazing members. We just capped out and filled up our VIP slots, but we still have lots of student spots and other spots for people who wanna enjoy our JKR University series. Fantastic content there, a great community. Be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching, and next week we have an amazing amazing new reveal ahead of the Tinley show something we've been looking forward to for a long time I always say that but it's actually a really big one so enjoy oh.